Uh, in Tai Chi, there is a saying uh, or a concept uh, called uh, to seek the straight line within the curve and to find the curve in the straight line. The, it's a Chinese idiom that sounds really good. It's like a cliche, everybody's saying it. But for us, practitioners of Chen style Tai Chi Chuan practical method, what does this mean? It means a conversion of energy. There are two types. One is that when you rotate something, it's considered the curvature. When you rotate something, you must produce a straight line that is used as your striking or power force. The other one is that when your opponent uses a move to attack you, usually the move comes at you or onto your body with a straight move. And even your opponent can grab you and make you stiff, stiffen up like a stick and he used that to push you so that uh, you can't get out, you cannot neutralize it. In this case here, to counter a straight move, you rotate. So when a straight move comes at you, you use a rotation, which produces a curvature, to absorb. Or on the other hand, you use a rotation to produce a straight line against your opponent. I'll explain using a very simple move in practical method. In the foundations, there is a move called six ceiling four closing. The rough fixed posture is like this. And I'm not going to use the complete uh, movement of six ceiling four closing. I'll just use this posture and to illustrate the curvature and the straight line in practical method. So once you are in this posture, we consider the middle finger to the elbow as a straight line. You produce a straight line by sitting your wrist so you don't bend your wrist like this. Sit onto a straight line like this. Put the straight line right on this spot on top of your quad here, on the stomach, lower stomach. And then make sure the straight line does not bend, it does not sway sideways. It, first of all, it only moves lengthwise. So I lock the rest of my body, just demonstrate with my forearm what this line does. It only does this here. It's like this. It only opens like this. It does not do anything like this. So now, back to this fixed posture, the straight line refers to here. This forearm is passive. It does not have power on its own. It does not act on its own. It only is fixed on this straight line. Now you use the waist to do a rotation. And the rotation does not move. It don't displace the space here, only move like this here. So the third part is that the end of the stick, your elbow, and this position of your waist, of your waist here creates a friction point, a bite like two gears biting like this here. Once they engage, this is engagement to how to engage your own body parts. In practical method, this is referred to as the gear. So when you, are, when you do the form or push hands, we say that you're in slack or you're in gear. Now you're in slack, now you're in gear. Once you're in gear, the dominant force energy, the producer, is the waist. When the waist rotates, it produces a straight forward line. It's very small, like this. Because of the angle of the camera, you will think the hand is doing this. But now watch again. The hand does not sway sideways. Now it's only a little bit here. So once this is done, understood and trained, then you train to open the quad and the shoulders more so that this move can be enhanced, it becomes longer. And then you use power. The main power is here. Use this kind of power. So this is one part of it. The second part is that when your opponent grabs you and pulls you, or grabs you and pushes into you, both situations are quite difficult to deal with. Deal with meaning how to neutralize this, pow this power, how to counter this move. If your opponent pulls you, and if you fight it, your body is going to go like this. If you fight backward, 
it's going to be like this. And if you struggle like this, your body is going to lose balance in all these situations. So what you do is you train this same thing here. When you are being pulled, you ignore, relax, and follow along. But you must match it with the rotation here. And that rotation e extends your arm on a straight line. So the straight line is, is actually absorbs into the rotation. So on the opposite is the same. When your opponent grabs you like this and puts you in this position and pushes towards you, and he wants to create this move on you, so you lose balance. When that happens, you rotate your waist and it neutralizes your opponent's push. So these are the two ways of using energy. Whenever your opponent is using a straight line on you, you use a rotation to resolve it. And if you want to produce power, which is a straight line, you must use a rotation to create that straight line. So far, I have used the six ceiling four closing that posture to demonstrate. Now you see, in twisting the towel, it's the same. You put your hand here, and then use the rotation of the torso to actually push your arm out. And your forearm does not really move. It's passive, it's being propelled by the rotation of your waist. S fetch water is the same. You don't really do this here. You leave your arm here. Your arm is on a straight line, 45 degrees that way here, at the beginning of that line. And it's passive. So the rotation of the waist here causes it to go out. And there are many other factors involved in that particular fetch water move. But I just want here to explain the mechanics behind it in relation to the curvature, which is the rotation, and a straight line. These are the three examples. Six ceiling for closing, twisting the towel, and fetch water.